world's turning back and the temperature's dropping dramatically, millions of householders will soon be turning on their central heating. And new research has revealed that the rise in energy prices will lead to millions of people paying over the odds to heat their homes. I'm joined now by Lucy Siegel, broadcaster and journalist, and Rebecca Howard from AD MagnaClean for more information and to offer advice on how to beat the energy price hikes this winter. Hi, thank you very much for joining me. You're very welcome. So Rebecca, how many of us are likely to face a long, cold winter simply because we haven't got our heating systems and boilers in good order? This new research that we've had commissioned looks at how people manage the health of their central heating system because we know from the research that a well-maintained system will cost a lot less to run and there are some really simple things that we can do to achieve that. One of the things that came out of the research was that actually almost 80% of people were interested in finding out more about how they could save money on their energy bills. So Lucy, it's fair to say that a lot of money and heat is being lost by people not being prepared this winter. So to what extent is this happening? Well, to a huge extent, actually, because there are so many little things that if you add together are putting pounds on our energy bills, which we really don't need, given the levels of our energy bills. So if you think about insulation, I always bang on about insulation every winter, but it's very, very important. If you don't have insulation, loft insulation of sufficient depth, which is 270 millimetres, then you could be losing up to 180 pounds a year. If you already have insulation, check it's the right depth because you could save £25 a year just by increasing the depth. So that's a very easy thing. 60 to 80% of our energy bill is attributable to our boilers. Now, these are very neglected. This is what MagnaClean Research has found. Only 55% of us actually have an annual checkup for our boiler. Now, these things are underperforming. They're throwing out low heat levels. So 6% of us across the nation say that we've got low heat levels. So we need to get our boiler service. MagnaClean have found that by fitting this special device, you can take another 6% off your energy bills. So look all around your house, the walls, the windows, even the floors. Insulating under the floorboards could save you £60 a year. Put a rug down. That could save 2% of your energy bill. I really like things like thermostatic valves on radiators in individual rooms because I think we use each room slightly differently. We need to have some control over our power. That's what we need. Give ourselves the control back. It's shocking, isn't it, when you think about adding all these different things up together, how much we could actually save on our heating as well, especially with the prices rising. It Absolutely. all adds up. Absolutely. It all adds up, and that's the really important thing to bear in mind. We need to just switch thinking in our minds a little bit and just think, if we spend a little bit now, then we're going to save in the future. It's about future-proofing. And Rebecca, what signs should people be looking out for when it comes to a faulty or inefficient boiler? Well, there are some really simple things that people will probably already be aware of. One of the major things that you can look for is a cold spot on radiators, which I'm sure we've all experienced, which is in the centre of a radiator. It just is very cold compared to the rest of it. Or usually one radiator at the very end of the run never gets as warm as the other radiators. One of the things that also came out of the research was that 15% of people actually turn up the thermostat to try and get more heat out of the system. So if you're not getting the same level of heat out of your central heating system that you used to, it's clearly inefficient and therefore then you could benefit from some cost savings. So Lucy, who should we be getting in to get our boiler checked out? You must get an engineer who's registered with a gas safety register and they must be qualified to work with boilers. That's really, really important. And you can find a national website where you can check their ID. It's out there. We need to just apply it. And finally, Rebecca, where can we go for more information? Well, there's some fantastic information on ad.co.uk forward slash homeowner, which really focuses on the MagnaClean and how you can achieve the 6% energy saving for each home. For more information on other products that are also available, then the Gas Safe Register is a great place for information and also then the Energy Savings Trust. Some really great information you've both given us there, so thank you very much for joining me. Thank you.